Welcome, people, beautiful beings. The topic for this video is how to practice energy sex. When I think about this topic, it's like my rational brain is taken over by passion and fire. It's just like, you know, you start entering into a totally different dimension. The idea that we have about sex, traditional idea is like two people coming together, starting to kiss, starting to rub each other, eventually there is penetration into course, and then there is a peak orgasm, and then you fall asleep, and then you start again. And uh, that's beautiful, okay, it works really well for lots of people. But when we talk about energy sex, and unfortunately I'm not going to demonstrate the full dimension of the practices here, because it might involve uh, naked people, naked nipples, and um, I don't want to offend the audience or whatever structures are out there. But I, what I can tell you, I mean, I might start uh, recording videos and put that in more private settings in the form of, um, you know, programs or other stuff. I will, I will tune into it, see how ready the world is to receive this, these gifts. And so, you know, the idea of energy sex is very simple. You have tons of energy, contact, con connection with your sexual energy, which is locked inside of you, down there, locked through guilt and shame and mind frames and sexual conditioning that stop you from being completely free and liberated. The idea of energy sex is that you start activating this energy and uh, some of the very simple ways to do that is through breathing and shaking and you start moving energies and ah, 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 and as you start breathing the sounds start coming, the orgasmic sounds, ah, 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 okay, I don't want to shock you. Maybe some people are going to get a bit uncomfortable here, so I'm not going to go full on into it. But once the sounds start coming in, you will notice that the whole flow of energy starts getting activated. And everything that you think about sex suddenly gets dissolved and you realize that right there, without any form of physical touch, without even anybody being physically present, you are going to enter into this orgasmic trance that completely liberates you and puts you into instant connection with the divine, with the absolute. It's magical. You see, this is why uh, there is so much power behind there and uh, why um, society is not fully activating that because it's freaking powerful. It liberates humankind to a point where um, your perception of who you are and all the trapped and locked emotions and guilt and shame and all these accumulated emotions over years and years of conditioning are just being wiped out by galactic cosmic fire flowing through your system it just opens the gateways of total liberation and uh you know i've got so many examples of situations i've been in workshops and uh, sessions one-on-one -on -one with people where i see this fire getting liberated and it's it's just like so magical, it's so blissful, it's so incredible that we have all that locked inside of us and that, that we are not tapping into, into. So the reason why it's not fully activated is because there are challenges in activating that. And also because, you know, maybe we are not ready as a human race for that kind of, of power, that kind of evolution, but you as individuals, you can start tapping into it. You know, it's going to become mainstream at some point, but for now it's like, you know, little hints here and there, and some people are starting to tap into it big time, you know, activating their orgasmic being, activating their energies, their fluids, their, all that in, inside of them. And it's, uh, it's, it's really completely uh, liberating when you start tapping into it. You know, um, I was teaching uh, a few years back at Burning Man and we were like a group of men, right? I invite people to a vital sex session. And then we are there and no women show up and we are just a group of maybe 15, 20 men there. And we start moving our energies, moving our hips and breathing. And within half an hour, we were on freaking fire. We were just exploding with sexual energy. Nobody was naked, there was no genital touch. We were just a Kundalini rising fire with lots of erotic fire, lots of erotic energy. And what's really interesting is that the bonding between men was super strong. You know, this was not creating sexual attraction between us. It means that I didn't want to jump on another man and have sex with that guy, right? It was, this was not about that. It was about liberating the fire and activating that energy inside of us. You would have brought a woman you know, in the center of this circle, in the center of that energy, and she would have gotten blasted by fire 
and erotic power that would turn her into a liberated uh, human trance, you know, straight away. So those experiences are not unique, you know, they ha we have been repeating them over and over again in different contexts, in nature, in civilized environments, in workshops in London, in New York, you know, and this idea of vital sex is a very powerful one. Sometimes I'm having a session with, with, with a woman, for instance, and uh, I see her going from a place where this is what sex is, you know, it's like these frames, I need a boyfriend, and, 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 and when we finish, she goes like, oh my God, my idea of what sex is has been completely wiped out. I have now a whole range of perception about what sex can be about. Because, you know, once the, the energies are liberated, once they are no longer locked, you can start playing with them. You know, imagine yourself in, in the subway just having some energetic attraction with somebody and you can, you just look at each other and you start breathing and before you know it, you are there in this deep, energetic, love-making connection with somebody that you never met before. It's just a five minute connection. You are going to step out at the next station. And, you know, this is within the range of what's possible. We're not, you know, it's like we have this kind of energetic potential as human beings within by liberating our sexual energy. So there is so much more to say about this topic. I got these revelations once in a cave in the Himalayas while I was isolating myself for like 10 days. These high mountains and, you know, really the realization of what our sexual energy is and the potential that it has freaking blew my mind. It's like, oh my God, what have we been doing as a human race? There is, there is all that that we are not tapping into. So this is a traditional sex. The moment you go into energy sex potential, you don't leave that, okay? You can still go and enjoy the traditional sex, but then suddenly your, your idea of sex goes from that to being like wide out, you know, wide open. There is so much more that we are not tapping into. And uh, I will take small steps at a time, you know, start revealing a couple of things and eventually maybe I'm going to blast you with the full range of techniques, demonstration, blah, 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 blah. The whole, the whole thing. So if you like this topic, let me know because it's important. Your feedback is actually guiding me into this exploration and tell me exactly what you need and what you're comfortable with. I love you so much. I hope you have a day full with energy and, and fire blasting you with deliciousness. I'll see you soon.